I'm aware that, you know, Donald Trump's doing great things for this country. <laughs> Just trying to enlighten myself. <laughs> I'm so honored to be in your presence today and get to talk to you. Epstein didn't kill himself. All the athletes that don't want to go support our president, you know, then they should go try that act over in uh, another country. No one's been in analyzing the fight objectively and, and calling it fair right down the middle. But I do love the greatest president of all time, Donald Trump. But I'm talking about these other so-called MMA journalists. And these aren't even journalists that actually got their journalism degrees like the great Stephen A. Smith. The thing about this great book, you know, New York Times bestseller, is you know it's about triggering snowflakes and you know usually i'm spoiling movies on twitter but you know i'm not going to spoil this maggie ufc guy colby covington went on ariel hawani's mma show of course continuing to play the character he has already owned up to to selling out for not re-signing you doesn't matter if you win that you're not entertaining and you're not a character i go out there and, and i completely prove him wrong with the show aspect and the entertainment aspect and i shoot this promo on the Brazilians and I say, hey, you guys are all a bunch of filthy animals, you know, and in Brazil, you're a dump. <laughs> so I go and shoot this promo and, and I wasn't supposed to have my job, but that promo goes so viral on the internet that the UFC is like, we have to keep him. We, we can't, we have to resign him because that promo is so big. So that's what saved my career, and that was the turning point in my career. So this is why I was like, okay, you guys want to, yeah. you want to, you want to dish it. You better be ready to take right. it because when I win, I'm giving it back to you guys. Right, right, right. With a MAGA hat that empowers white supremacy and a signed crooked photo of Donald Trump. Who he takes aim at next? The only person that's gotten their jaw wired shut is 50 Cent. If you want to talk about people who had to get their jaw wired shut, let's go talk about 50 Cent. A guy who got, he says, oh, I got shot nine times. If he got shot one time by me, he wouldn't get back up. 50 Cent's a little bitch. Yes, Colby Covington has called out business mogul 50 Cent because the hip-hop artist and actor made light of Colby being MAGA and losing to Kamara Usman, who dedicated his fight to all the immigrants Colby has made a mockery of. I'm gonna do a celebrity boxing match. I'm gonna tie one hand behind my back and I'm gonna fight 50 Cent. I'm gonna put up a million of my dollars and I wanna fight 50 Cent in a celebrity boxing match. Let's pause for a moment. Covington, who took an L against Usman, is desperate to stay in the public light. He sees the KSI, Jake Paul, and Eason Gibb boxing matches, plus Antonio Brown going face to face with Logan Paul at a Super Bowl party, and the former receiver getting pad work in on social media, which has accrued almost 1 million views on Twitter alone. There is a market for this. Colby is wisely applying his trade to this new vertical with an opponent he knows will react. This is a special ASLELS challenge for you floyd if you can read one full page of a harry potter book nigga i'll give 750,000 to whatever charitable organization you want to after a reported broken jaw by covington who ran out of the cage to not address the media for a post-fight interview when he lost sent wrote on instagram well look at the bright side he won't say the wrong thing or anything for the next six weeks with a picture of covington i'm gonna tie my left hand behind my back or my right hand. He can pick which one. It really doesn't matter because both are lethal. Right. You got Bugattis on both knuckles. So I'll let him pick which hand he wants to put behind my back. Gloating about how he will fight 50 one-handed. It reeks of a man who fell out of the public eye and needs to build his career back up. Then in typical Trump fashion, Covington called out the media for being a ghost for over a month after his loss to Usman, claiming there is a bias against him because he is a Trump supporter. I wanted to see all these so-called MMA journalists. I wanted to see how they were going to call it. If they were going to call it down the line, if they were going to call it fair, if they were going to take their feelings out, Ariel, because I know I am the most hated man in the UFC and the most hated man in sports right now, but man, Put your feelings to the side for a second. That's what real journalism is. Sound familiar? Fake news. Fake news. Category you are fake news. Covington then digs a deeper hole, conspiratorially, of how the fight panned out. Let's talk about the fake eye poke. Let's talk about the fake stoppage, the fake rep. Let's talk about the fake uh, NSAC, the Nevada uh, State Athletic Commission. When questioned correctly by Hawani, Covington goes onward with his conspiracy. He's ticked Usman's corner, learned of his broken jaw and the UFC broadcasting that audio. Objectively, as he has called on us, it could be many things. It could have been overheard from Covington's corner. Usman's corner could have overheard the broadcast relaying this message and discussing it. The scenarios are endless, but Covington wants an answer. Throughout this whole interview, we learn the psychiatry of a man like him. 
Look, I have great admiration and respect for someone putting their body, their mentals, their livelihood on the line to compete in a blood sport for our entertainment. There is an underlying theme, however, to his entire dialogue. He does not own up to losing to the better man on fight night. That kind of information gets out real quickly when you're talking about social media and, and people talking about it on the broadcast. So, you know, it's just... It's just not fair. The man who labeled himself a sellout to Candace Owens suddenly believing in morals is peak Colby. And the bow on top? And just like Donald Trump does for America, you know, he has the, the deck stacked against him. He still keeps fighting even harder. And, he, and we will overcome this. I promise you that. The fact is, the Trump family does not associate with so-called losers. Donald Trump only cares about the antithesis of taking L's. And it is passed down to his children who are fans of Colby. Covington sees the door closing and wisely, through his own business savvy ways, attempts to stay in the limelight. With Usman moving on, at least for the time being, Covington must win his next few fights. And if he does, in the post-fight interviews, build himself back up by associating with the Trump family. If he does not, the door closes on his MMA career.